All right, this one involved a major bit of detective work to sort this out, and I'd kind of given up on it. Basically, this is a, but we got there in the end. This is a Technics, uh, Technics electronic piano. So the same guys that make the um, uh, the turntables, but this is an electronic piano. Pretty old, lots of cobwebs inside. So the problem was we were getting lights on here, but but there was no sound. There was nothing coming out of the keys. There is now because it's it is sorted. Um, so uh, diagnostic, I was sort of trying different outputs. So obviously the speakers weren't working. So uh, next thing was to check the headphone sockets. There's still no, no sound coming out of that. So I thought, okay, well maybe the it's not generating a signal. Now there's an aux in at the back here. So I tried feeding a signal into it and then tried to listen through there or there and the headphones and there was nothing coming through. So basically nothing was happening at all. Um, a bit perplexing. I thought, well, maybe it's something wrong with the voltage supply. So uh, Technics boards are really good because they've got, um, they, they're very helpful, lots of test points and it sort of tells you what's what and... Uh, very nicely laid out and it sort of tells you the voltages that you should be getting. So this thing's got like plus 15, minus 15 rails and a plus 5 um, voltage as well, um, which it's supplying to this and then sort of other other boards inside there. Um, so most of those seem to be okay. So I was really stumped. I couldn't work out what was going on. Um, I couldn't find a service manual for this particular model i had an earlier one and a later one so i was thinking god i'm gonna to have to just give up on this thing um then i went back to it because the thought of actually just chucking it away this kind of big huge thing just taking it down to the recycling center or whatever was just too too much to bear so um so i thought i'd go in there i've got this like improvised um i don't know what you call it like a tone um sensor or something basically i just i just got some leads and i plugged them into um an amplifier um like a guitar amplifier so uh, it's kind of like test leads it's a, it's a sort of tone signal test um thing um anyway i didn't explain that very well but i was testing that around here just randomly because this is the this is the area that makes the sound this this area and then it get it feeds into this area where it gets amplified all right so i thought well obviously the the signal if, if it is making a signal it's going to be coming through here so i was just randomly testing here and as luck would have it i actually did find the signal it was coming through fine it was it sounded really good so obviously the tone circuits the generation circuits are working fine the keys are working fine there's something wrong at this stage with the amplification of the sound but it was just weird that neither the headphones nor the the main transistor which goes to the main speakers neither of those are working um and then i noticed that there was another voltage supply called plus 15 m and that's to do with like this kind of midi it's a it's a basically a thing that turns on and off um if you've got it connected to a midi setup so if you're running it off the computer and you're using it as a MIDI device, you don't really need anything being amplified through here. And it seemed to be that that was, um, the thing was, it was kind of like it was in MIDI mode, even though we didn't want it to be. So I tried doing like a, a factory reset on the thing, that didn't work. Um, so there was obviously a, like a physical problem here or an electronic problem going on. Um, and basically it was switching switching off the amplifiers when it wasn't supposed to so that took a lot of work i had to because i couldn't didn't have a um circuit diagram for it i had to actually basically take the boards out and map out everything uh that took such a long time especially this board because it's very very dense and inch and um convoluted but anyway i worked out the switching mechanism is here and I tested those transistors, they were actually, everything was seemed fine, they were getting all the correct readings. Um, but the the signal that comes in to tell it to switch on the amplifiers was 
uh, not doing what it should do. So I had to trace this because the signal originates back in here and there's, there's like a microcomputer somewhere that basically controls everything. And it wasn't sending out the signal to turn the amplifiers on when the MIDI was off. Um, so I had to trace through here. This was a real headache because these tracks are so... Yeah, it's it's complicated anyway. But I, I worked out that this uh, integrated circuit here, this tiny little one, is a logic circuit and that was the one that was malfunctioning. Now I haven't really got the equipment to deal with to get these things in and out, um, uh, replace it. So, but I realised I could just improvise something um, because the customer didn't really want, not really bothered about the MIDI. We'll just keep the kind of MIDI circuit switched off and have the amplifier switched on. So, basically, uh, I've realised I could run a cable from well, it's kind of like here to to there, which then connects to the switch. So it's just basically giving a, a little um, four and a half volt feed, permanent feed to that to keep it switched on. And I wasn't sure if it would work, but it did work. And it was like, yeah, very, very happy. Just because I, yeah, it was kind of one of those ones where you just kind of gave up and then I just thought I'll give it one last go and it was worth it. So, um taken a long 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 time and um, but uh i don't know it's just satisfying getting there in the end so it's probably the probably the most complicated fix i've done that's that's actually resulted in a success um so i'm pretty pretty pleased with it and it's nice not to have to throw something away this thing that's pretty big and pretty well made anyway cheers thank you